everyone. Welcome to Sean Allen Films, the educational series. I'm Sean Allen. This is part five of the muscular system. Last time we looked at the muscles in your arm. If you want to see that episode, click on the annotation above or click the link in the description of this video. Today, we're going to be looking at the muscles in the thigh. Oh, and in case you're wondering, the leg muscles and the thigh muscles are completely different. This is because anatomy experts and doctors consider the term leg as being the lower portion of a leg. It's basically from your knee to your foot. So if you're ready, then let's get started. Here is a diagram of the muscles in the thigh. Let me remind you that this isn't all of the muscles. There are a bunch more. Let's take a look at this muscle. It's called sartorius. It is considered the longest muscle in the human body. It runs the whole length of your thigh. Just to let you know, there is no particular size for the sartorius muscle. What I mean is that there are different types of people, uh, height wise of course, you know, tall, medium, and small, and the sartorius muscle length, well, it varies. The next muscles we will look at are the psoas major and the iliacus. These muscles work together to help flex the thigh. Believe it or not, a lot of people like to combine both the psoas major and iliacus into one major muscle. They call it the iliopsoas. Yeah, brilliant. They combine two weird names to come up with an even weirder name. What are they going to come up with next? Let's take a look at these four muscles. The rectus femoris, the vastus medialis, the vastus lateralis, and the vastus intermedius. These muscles extend the leg. And believe it or not, Professor Work, but these muscles are also grouped together. Really? Yep. They're called quadriceps femoris. Great. An even weirder name. I know, but hey, if you want to become an anatomy major or even a doctor or nurse, you have to know these names. Let's take a look at these muscles, the adductor longus and the adductor magnus. These muscles help bring the thigh up close to your chest. This muscle, the gracilis, does the exact same thing, but it also flexes the leg, so technically it has two jobs. What? Did you think we were done? Well, unfortunately, no. Actually, we need to look at the muscles on the back side of the thigh. The first muscle we will look at is the gluteus maximus. Here is the gluteus maximus on the diagram. Oh, by the way, we are looking along the back side of the thigh. This muscle has three jobs. It rotates the thigh, extends the thigh, and it brings the thigh back in. <laughs> That's a lot of jobs for just one muscle. The muscle directly behind it is called the gluteus medius. This is typically where nurses like to inject a syringe. I know, I know, we all hate shots, but hey, it's one way to get medicine into our body. Okay, let's get back to the muscles. It gives me shivers talking about shots. Have you ever heard about the hamstring? It's a pretty common name. So which muscle is it? Well, it's actually composed of three muscles. They are the biceps femoris, the semitendinosus, and the semimembranosus. The last muscle we will look at in this episode is the gluteus minimus. It is directly behind the gluteus medius. What does this muscle do? Well, it um, helps us rotate our thigh. The same thing is true with the gluteus medius and several of the other muscles. So, yeah, pretty basic. Well, everyone, we have finished part five of the muscular system. Now, I know we've covered a lot of information here, so I suggest that you review this video so that we get all the names down. Next time, we're going to be looking at the muscles in your foot. Before you go, please be sure to like this video and leave a comment or video response telling us what you thought about today's show. Be sure to also check out the official Sean Allen Films the Educational Series Facebook page. Plus, follow Sean on Twitter, Google Plus, and Keek. 
And don't forget to subscribe to his second channel, which is Sean Allen Films, the vlog series, and his third channel, Sean Allen Films, the Disneyland video series. All the links are down below in the description of this video. Well, that's all for today. Until next time, keep on learning.